Black text on a blue background reads, 1863, come explore the families. On a whiteboard, text reads, homework due Monday, read Annie Marmion's story under fire. Write an essay on life in 1863 Harbors Ferry, 950 words. A girl sits at a desk in her bedroom. I still don't understand why I have to waste my whole weekend studying about this stupid stuff. Why does it matter to me what happened a bazillion years ago? I just want to go watch TV. She stands up, but a photograph flies across the room and attaches itself to a wall in front of her. Wait, what? Who are you? What are you doing in my room? The girl in the photograph speaks. My name is Annie Marmee. That book you're reading, I wrote that when I was an adult. I see that you aren't interested in it, but you should be. So I'm going to show you why. But are you real? Why are you talking to me? I'm going to tell you what really happened. Well, I, I don't have time for that. I have better things to do in 2013. If you don't make time now, you never will. Come with me and you will understand. Annie pulls her into the photograph. They arrive in a dining room in 1863. A family is setting the table. Wait, where are we? Who are these people? This was my house as a child, and that is my family. We were a happy family, as you can see, but the war changed that. Just a few months before, a real battle had come to this town. We spent many sleepless nights in the cellar, while my father, as the only doctor in the town, was called to assist citizens caught within the crossfire. Everything we believed in, everything we loved, was threatened. Okay. The mother opens the door and lets in two soldiers. Are you Dr. Nicholas Marmion? Yes, yes I am. We have been sent from the office of the Provost Marshal to take you into custody. You are suspected of being in sympathy with the enemy. Wait, what's happening? That is my father. He is being arrested. That is the night that everything changed. I don't see why you guys think that I need to pledge my allegiance every month. I swear it when I entered this nation. I therefore don't have to prove it again. Why is that a big deal? I have to pledge mine every day. Well, I am talking about something different. If my father was not to pledge his allegiance, he would be considered a traitor. And because he didn't sign, they tried to separate father from our family. The other families in town, such as the Stipes, also had to make this decision. In a living room, a family reads and says, I think I've heard those names before, but who were they? Miss Stipes is the landlady of the local boarding house. When my father defied the army, she took care of many of the soldiers who were posted here, doing their laundry and such. Dr. Marmion's been arrested! What? He can't be arrested. He's the only doctor in this town. I must go and speak on his behalf. Hopefully, the provost marshal will hear me out, since I am currently on good terms with him. Girls, stay here and mind the house while I'm out. This is also terrible, but why should we care if this happened so long ago? Let me show you. A group of girls in present day Lower Town Harpers Ferry. This is so boring. Why couldn't we have gotten to Kingston Vivian? Why are we here anyway? This place is so lame. I mean, what's the importance of this place anyway? Wait, these people look really familiar. They should. They're the descendants of the Stipes family you just saw 150 years ago. But hold on. Hold on. You're saying the descendants of these people don't even care about their history? So if they don't care, why should I? I knew you'd ask that question, which is why I have one more place to show you. A series of images of a futuristic city. A skyline. A conveyor belt tunnel. A group of buildings. A group of girls stands in front of a small brick building. That's right, folks. Once we knock down this old building in this garage-looking thing. You mean John Brown's fort? John Brown, Jim Brown, whatever. Once this place is all knocked down, we can finally build that all-in-one housing development and shopping center. I mean, this is the most absolutely horrible place I've ever seen in my life. Yeah, nobody's been here for like 20 years or more. I mean, it stinks here. We should just get rid of it. The images become distorted and nightmarish. Annie shakes her finger at the future girls. One housing development. What? No. I'm not like that. This isn't real. Why would I? Annie, why would you show me all of this? No. That's not like me. No. No, I didn't do that. No. No. The main girl wakes up in her bed. Was that a dream? At school, she reads from her paper. It's difficult for us to understand the lives and experiences of people living back in Harpers Ferry in 1863. But I now realize that if we do not understand the history of the time, 
We will lose our town, our community, and our history forever. The ghost of Annie Marmion appears and watches in approval. Over an image of a flower, images of each of the kids involved in this video play along with the following credits, which read Director Heather Rose, Screenwriters Evan Frank, Shelby Sear, Storyboard Artist Ivy Tilly, Videographers Spencer DeLauder, Christian Kite, Film Editors Trevor Bonner, Savannah Jack, and Rose Thompson, Sound Slash Music Editors Haley Harrison, Katie Kerner, Costumers Alexis Bentley, Ashton Byers, Katie Rice, Actors Kurt Acker, Eric Dreyer, Kay Feldstein, Isabella Fox, Madeline Hatfield, Ethan Howe, Samantha Milburn, Abigail Navarrete, Selena Stillians, Sarah Swain, Calista Walzuk, with help from intern Rob, Ranger Autumn, Ranger Phil. Credits continue for another minute.